Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 26th of June and I would like to, to read in Proverbs chapter 1, uh, chapter 12, verse 18. The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. The same text from yesterday. I would like to keep on meditating a few days on this text. It's either going to be sword or healing. And Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, a very interesting text, says this, The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love will eat its fruit. What sort of fruit are we going to eat? It's either going to be sword or healing, life or death. God has offered his grace to transform us, so we are going to be springs of living water and not as a source of death. Colossians chapter 4, verse 6 says, Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. How are we going to, to be able to answer people as we should if our heart is full, filled with God's grace? And then, our conversation will be full of grace. And James, in a text extremely important for, for us, tells us something that we, should, uh, we all should know in the chapter 3, verses 7 to 12. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? Can can my brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives, or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. Is my spring is not fr uh, fresh, is not going to produce fresh water. I have got a fig tree here in my garden in, in the Basque country, and there are lots of fig trees here all over the place. Mine grew in a vase, in a... In a in my balcony in an apartment we used to live in, in Bayona, it cannot produce olives. Olives, the olive trees, they don't like the south, this part of the southwest France, neither the nor northern Atlantic part of Spain. It's too humid, too wet. They prefer the dry lands of the south of Spain or of the southeast of France. My fig tree cannot produce olives. It's a, it's a matter of, uh, uh, of nature. Again, with the tongue, it's a matter of nature as well. If my heart is not being transformed by grace, I cannot speak grace. If my heart hasn't been healed, I cannot bring healing through my tongue. If I haven't become a spring of living water, I cannot produce living water. It is as simple as that. It's either going to be sword or healing. Fresh water or salt water. It's either going to be life or death. God help us to be a spring of living water, to be a source of healing. God bless you.